Now, of course, we've heard uh, the statistics or rather the figures coming out uh, from the Israeli uh, prisons services about how many people are in fact uh, uh, injured in these riots on Monday. And we're hearing very different figures when it comes to the Palestinian Prisoners Club. What can you tell us? That's correct. The Palestinian Prisoners Club and Palestinian authorities say that upward of 150 Palestinian prisoners were in fact uh, wounded in these uh, riots and up to 36 of them were taken to the hospitals. According to a couple of lawyers of these prisoners, they say that they've witnessed and seen injuries uh, to their, uh, you know, to, to the prisoners, and they've taken pictures of it. Now the, there is discrepancy in these numbers, but the one fact that we know that the tension and the situation in these uh, prisons, among them Offer Prison near uh, the city of Ramallah, is definitely high. And this is the one issue, Tracy, that really unifies all Palestinians uh, on one issue, despite the divide between Gaza and the West Bank, despite the division between Fatah, Hamas, and the Islamic Jihad, and the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine. This is the one issue that really brings Palestinians together. And I've uh, covered the Palestinian hunger strike of a couple of years ago and the situation with the prisoners. And you can rest assured, if this situation really escalates, as we just mentioned, if Palestinians take out to the streets tomorrow and to the checkpoints uh, where they will clash with his Israeli soldiers inside in the West Bank, I think if it goes out of hand, we may see a whole different situation, completely different that what we, than what we have uh, been witnessing to in the last few months along the Gaza-Israel border. This is an issue that is not separate or it's not uh, does not belong to one Palestinian faction or, not, or another. This is a all mm. Palestinian issue. And now another issue, but again pertaining to to prisoners. The Palestinian Authority is saying that it's released over 135 million dollars in payments for uh, imprisoned and released terrorists in 2018. Now we know that this is the first time since 2015 that the PA has released uh, figures of this kind. Although it doesn't specify though how these funds were distributed. So what do we know? Well, first of all, this is not breaking news to be caught to be honest with you this came out from an Israeli organization based in Jerusalem called the Palestinian Media Watch and what it says is that now it has numbers of how much the, the Palestinian Authority or the Palestine Liberation Organization the PLO have been paying not only to prisoners but also to families of those prisoners and prisoners of what the Palestinians label martyrs so this this is the money that the Palestinian Authority that uh, says that it keeps those uh, families and the nucleus of the society together this is not to support violence for the Palestinians and in fact the Palestinians in general whether officials or none they say that these prisoners are political prisoners that they are uh, resistance fighters and freedom fighters and they should be taken care of and as for Palestinian officials, any time we pose the questions to them about these payments, they would tell you that this is a red line, this is a political suicide, and no Palestinian official would dare to even make a mm. suggestion to stop making these payments.